Hi, Frank coming from Springer's Adventures. So we're at the Heidelberg Goodwill Outlet in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Gonna give this one a shot. Uh, see how this one compares to other ones we've been at. So uh, let's go check it out. So as you can see from the size of this one, it's not a huge one, but it's 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 nice size, uh, very workable to get around in there. Not a whole heck of a lot of people were there that day, which is fine with me. It's just that much more treasures you can go digging for. So let's uh, walk around and uh, start the digging process and see what we could find. So uh, my hands are starting to get pretty full. I never grabbed the buggy when I came in, so I figured I'd better go find the wife. And uh, as I'm looking for it, boom, she already found a blow mold. How could that be? <laughs> Big old pumpkin blow mold. Uh, blow molds always do good. Uh, the Christmas ones obviously do a lot better, but the Halloween ones do pretty good as well. Uh, you know, for either the kids use them for you know trick or treating, the small ones, or the big ones like that. A lot of people use those for either for decorations or for putting candy in to uh, go out. So uh, always on the lookout for blow molds.
So uh, once I seen that those uh, two old sleds were in there, I figured I'd better go get in line by that one there. And uh, we'll see who was able to get it first. And uh, the guy puts the other card in, he says go. So uh, I just went ahead and put my hand on that one. I was able to get that one. And uh, I guess nobody wanted that other one either. The other one was back behind there. So I was able just to reach in there and was able to get that one. So a lot of people don't like to get the big items because like that because they normally, like I said, they charge by the pound. And you never quite know what they're going to charge you for heavy items. Sometimes it's a flat rate. Uh, sometimes it's uh, by the pound on those. But uh, at this particular store, anything over like a certain weight, it was just a flat rate. So come to find that out after I grabbed them. So definitely worth it. Definitely coming home. And if you're a sports fan from Pittsburgh and the Pittsburgh Bins, you're sure to find a lot of Pittsburgh apparel at a great price. So uh, always be on the lookout for that. What a bargain. All right. So for starters, I uh, ended up finding this uh, Bon Jovi uh, T-shirt. Or can I take it back? A Bon Jovi uh, sweatshirt. Uh, it was like a crop top one. It was actually made this way. It actually has the uh, dates and everything on the back. Uh, from a, from a, I think it was I can't remember the year. I'll flip it around in a second and show you guys that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, my wife always looks for uh, Corningware, actually more Pyrex, but uh, did find this Corningware dish. I mean, it was like brand new. I don't think it was ever used. Uh, of course, anything cat related, I had to find that. I just thought that was too cute. It was just a little holiday cap uh, for Christmas, saying Catmas. Thought that was pretty neat. The uh, did find a pair of vintage. Uh, uh, socks here christmas time kind of socks or just winter socks made in usa and stuff like that so those are pretty nice uh just a generic kind of tank top it just looked pretty cool woman's tank top found a pair of nike uh, air shorts uh like brand new condition i don't know if they were ever worn or not they were in super nice shape uh a set of kate spades slippers these were like brand new condition, or actually I think they are brand new. I mean, still have the stickers on the bottom. You can see they were never worn at all. I uh, always look for old albums. I found a Moody Blues album. Uh, the cover is not in the greatest of shape, but the album was perfect, so that's always a good thing. Blow molds. Always look for blow molds. Blow molds always do really well. So we found my wife found the pumpkin, and uh, we were getting ready to check out, and she didn't have the lid. So she says, let me go back one more time and look through the bins. And she goes back, and sure enough, she found the lid for it. So she made it complete. So that was pretty. All right, so up next we have is a couple of the sleds we found. This one is called a Speedaway. This one was in really nice shape. It's about four and a half foot tall. So uh, actually, I mean, it's perfect size for an adult if they wanted to use it. Uh, the graphics on there, the paint, and everything was in really good shape. I mean, it was still uh, some red paint on the rails and stuff like that that you can see from when it was originally made i didn't do a lot of research on this one yet i'd have to venture to say i mean i think people said it was from the 50s i think it's personally probably probably the 60s uh i would have to say maybe even early 70s but uh, uh definitely old but uh for seven dollars uh, that's what it ended up costing to buy the sled uh, they charged a flat rate there at that one for that. Anything that would weigh really heavy, they just put a flat rate on there. So it was $7 for that. So let me show you the other one. So this next one up, this was the older one. Uh, the graphics, uh, obviously, it's a lot older. You can tell the paint and everything is pretty much uh, gone off of this one. I believe it would have had a bumper on the front right in here somewhere. I've seen some that had a chrome bumper, and then some just had like a little painted bumper. That bumper is missing on there. Uh, if you look real closely on this thing, yeah, I believe it was a, a uh, called a Airline Junior. You can almost see the word Junior in there, but uh, if you go online, you could see this one there. I seen anywhere from the 30s through the 50s on this one. Uh, again, $7 paid for this one. Uh, both of them are only $7 each at that. And you're probably figuring, what's this guy from Florida bringing back sleds back to Florida? Well, to be honest with you, uh, they do really well at Christmas time. Every year we go on vacation or something, if we go out junking for the day, if I find a sled, I'll pick it up because they do very well here in Florida. People buy them for 
for props for uh, for their photo shoots. Uh, I have several photographers that have bought them. I also have people just buy them just to use as decorations around their house during the Christmas holidays. So uh, vintage sleds. I thought that was always pretty cool. All right, on to the next stuff. Just so you know, yes, I do know sleds. That's mine hanging up on the wall that I've had for over 30 years. So when our kids were small, we can go playing with them up in the snow when we'd go on vacation. So, yes, I do know about sleds. <laughs> and last but not least, so here I am. I'm checking out. We were pretty much done for the day and everything like that. And they start to bring out a new bin, uh, change of bins at the place. And my wife says, hey, I'm going to go back while you're checking out and check out these uh, last bins. And... What did she come across but a pair of vintage Santa's uh, lights with like little elves and stuff on them. So let me take a picture. I'll show you what these things look like. So isn't that just the coolest? I thought, I mean, those 10 lights, I don't even know if they were ever really used. I mean, maybe hung on a tree once or twice, but... Uh, if you're into vintage Christmas, how could you go wrong with that? So I just thought that was really pretty neat. You know, all in for the day. I mean, it was uh, very reasonable. We had the $14 for the two sleds, plus probably about 6 or $7. I think it was like $6 and change for everything else there that you see that we picked up that day. You know, uh, the blow mold was a great find. The light's a great find. The sled's obviously a great find. So, uh, you know. $21 or so for a day out of junkin' with some uh, scores like that, you know, how could you, how could you go wrong? So, uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you're ever up in the uh, Pittsburgh area, like I said, that was the one in Heidelberg. Uh, go, by all means, check them out, as usual. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.